What is up guys? This is David Berkby with the Rawlings Tigers and I have a question for you guys today that I get frequently asked from youth coaches and youth players all the time and that is when do I add in a second or third pitch to my arsenal? That a boy! Yes sir! So when a youth player comes up to me or a youth coach and asks Hey coach, when should I add another pitch? So assuming a player starts at nine years old, he starts throwing a fastball, you know, when do you add in a changeup? When do you add in a breaking ball to your arsenal? And a lot of youth coaches and even youth players and parents have a common misconception in mind and they think that it has everything to do with age. They kind of think that the, the common example is, all right, I start pitching at nine, I have a fastball. By 10 or 11, I'll add in a changeup. By 13 and 14 years old, I'll add in a breaking ball, whether that's a slider or a curveball. And while that's not necessarily a bad way to go about it, I think we can do a little bit better from a scientific and numbers approach to it. The way I always approach that question is I, in turn, ask another question to that player. So let's say an example. I have an 11-year-old player that comes to me for a lesson. And he says, hey coach, um, I recently started a changeup, but I really want to add in a third pitch too. I'll back up. I will ask that player, hey, what pitch counts in and at bat do you feel comfortable throwing your changeup? More times than not, I get the answer of eh, 0 2, maybe 1 2. Okay, so zero balls, two strikes, one ball, two strike counts. So when a pitcher's really ahead. And that is a common answer because that's a low risk. Uh, pitch count to throw an off-speed pitch in that maybe you're not that comfortable throwing yet, okay? Which is normal, that's great. So I kind of have a three-step approach with those players and coaches, and it's this. You have to first, and before you ever add in a changeup, number one with the fastball, you better be able to command a fastball eight out of 10 times in the strike zone, okay? And, and possibly hitting both sides of the plate consistently. Once you get that, you can add in a, a second pitch, which is normally the changeup first because it actually kind of goes off of a lot of fastball tendencies. So once you add in that changeup, three-pronged approach is this. You have to dominate in those 0-2-1-2 counts and get comfortable throwing those pitches first. Then add in your even counts, so your 0-0s, your 1-1s, your 2-2s, and then even slightly behind counts, like 1-0s and 2-1s. If you add those in and begin to really dominate those pitch counts, then you move on to the third tier, which is those high risk pitch counts. The three twos, the two O's, and the three ones. If you're throwing an off speed pitch or change up in this example, in those counts, you have the utmost confidence in that pitch. Once you get to that point in your career, then we can talk about adding on a third pitch, like a breaking ball, a slider, or a curveball, okay? And then we'll just repeat the same process. I believe that by going with this approach, you guarantee yourself that you have some quality pitches to go to in a game. If you just add in pitches willy-nilly throughout the year because you want to, then you'll end up with one, two, three, even four mediocre pitches that really aren't applicable in a game to get hitters out. That's my approach, that's what I teach. I would love to hear your feedback. Please shoot some comments or some questions in the comments section. Love to answer it, love to help out in any way we possibly can. Our mission with the Rawlings Tigers is to educate, train, and grow the game. That is what we are about. It's providing information to help you guys as athletes and coaches. So until then, we'll talk later. See ya.